Hello all of you lovely individuals and welcome back to another video for the day. Get your garbage wading boots cause it's good old garbage day and we're going back into r slash trashy. Yeah, I hadn't exactly done this in a hot minute, uh, but a little bit of a break goes pretty good. So you know, you do the stuff so and let's get into the video. Well, Earl, I'm not sure who socialized you, but not only will you not be matched with me again, you won't be using Uber services under your own name slash information again. This was during the downpour on Saturday afternoon, and they were promptly kicked out when I realized. Drivers, if you don't have one yet, get a dash cam. It truly is our only defense. Oh, but come on, she just taken a nap. Oh no, I can't scroll down because she's not taking a nap. Her head goes down further. How do you not have the dignity to ride in an Uber? All you gotta do is sit down and shut up. Don't really think you can get any of the sloppy dappy going over because God forbid you go over a speed bump and I happen to hear... <coughs> Yeah, you're getting kicked out right then and there. And at this point, with all the stupid stuff that you've seen, considering Uber drivers and all the weird people that they gotta deal with, like Exhibit A right here, um, I'm surprised that Uber hasn't made it a requirement for drivers to have dash cams. Kanye West bears his bare buttocks as he and wife Bianca Sensory enjoy a very amorous boat ride in Venice in front of groups of gawking tourists. Yeah, it really has been proven that Kanye West really hasn't been doing his Kanye best as of recent. Has he? I'm not for sure quite when it started, but I'm fairly certain at that moment when he shouted, I am a god, uh, that was definitely a downward slope, I could tell you that there for sure. You know, I always get the weird feeling that Facebook ads just happen to be going a little too far, because what in the internet search history based shit is this? Main thing being is like, if you're at page 120, dude, get off the internet, do something else, because you are that bored. I really, really just do hope that the comments on this one were just complaining about what in the actual heck am I looking at kind of vibes, because... How in the world do you even get this to show actually, you know, based on me now that I clicked on it on Reddit? I guarantee you stupid stuff like that's going to be popping up on my Facebook. Just freaking watch. Yeah, just, just put the tip in. See how that feels. Look, look, uh, this is just the result of what happens when people keep on stealing money out of the tip jars is that everything has to go digital. But whoever came up with the slogan, y'all is either getting fired or a raise and I can't decide which one. You know for a fact it's going to be bad when the employee working ask you yeah is it in yet youtube be nice i'm playing along with a joke about a monetary tip don't you come in here just Dropping the price of my OF to $9.11 for the rest of the day to honor the victims. Look, there are many, many ways to honor people that died on September 11th. I am fairly certain sticking a plane between what I am going to assume you are calling your own Twin Towers is not good at freaking all. Not, not respectful at all. Like, imagine you actually lost a relative that day and then down the road you happen to see this post. Like, how do you think you would feel after seeing that because honestly doing that just kind of feels disrespectful to the people that died and i know that unfortunately there are people out there that get made fun of just because they happen to work on of i i honestly don't know if i can say the actual name of the site um but you're not exactly helping them get shined in a good light, ma'am. Caption said that this whole thing was empty. Um, uh, here's the thing. Uh, look, retail can be very stressful, but uh, I'm fairly certain killing an entire bag of wine is probably still not the best idea. There are defer definitely different alternatives when it comes to tolerating stupid people at work. Either that or somebody had a big, big backpack coming in, and uh, I don't know why, but, uh, Ain't no way that you're getting away with trying to kill an entire bottle of wine or bag of wine or anything if you're a customer. Due to high temperatures, we will not be accepting money out of your bra. Thank you. Okay, that one I just feel on a personal level because very much I shouldn't have to feel like I have to sanitize the bill before I put it in the register. I don't care if you pulled it out of your bra, out of your sock. I've heard stories about people pulling it out of your underwear. That one, you should not be surprised if we turn you away from that. Just, if we feel like we have to sanitize the money, we should reserve the right to not accept it. And signs like this, I feel like, unfortunately, are more effective than them just being told, yeah, we can't take that. How cheap you gotta be to not buy a wallet, but think that you can just carry around your money in your boobers or your socks or 
or anything, and then think that that is perfectly fine. Can even make the damn things out of duct tape, just ask any seven-year-old or boy scout. Okay, you know what? The person that was told to post this to r slash trash sheet, y'all very much got my approval on the matter, and very much this is that type of graffiti that I actually like because it looks like somebody put some effort into this. Seriously, tasteful graffiti very much can add to something, ver whereas just somebody doing a drive-by spraying is very much not doing that, but this is very much one of the good cases of the graffiti because this is actually something that turned out pretty good so whoever did this you had some talent keep up the great work you got some artistic talent to you seriously thanks for not pulling out of uh, river brinley and emerson uh, uh, of course it would be the type of mother that spells their kids like this y you also know for a fact that uh place your bets on how many live laugh love do you think this person got in their kitchen my money's on 28 while we're at it you might as well play some guesses how many pumpkin spice lattes do you think this person's going to buy in the next uh, month you know again Giving it that it is October right now, uh, what time, how many of these pumpkin spice lattes do you think this person has had? Seriously, anytime I see somebody name their kids like this because they think they're quirky and everything, I, I, I can feel exactly what brain cells die off. You might as well have added, it's river, but spelled this way as the full name on the receipt. My bad, birth certificate, but it's effectively the same thing, let's be real here. But do you also want to bet that this is the type of person that would put their kids into extracurricular sports, whether or not the kid wanted to be in them in the first place also. Seriously, I know there's a whole lot of other guesses. Let me know down below what you type what you think this type of person does for a living. Did you think this dude today? Um what wait, what wouldn't Disney World supposed to be the happiest place on earth? What the shit happened to that? Please refrain from using genitalia to press buttons. Thank you, University Housing. Yeah, no, just because Jack Black was able to deactivate lasers with his dong while singing about it doesn't mean anybody should be trying to copy him. Please, for the love of God, do not do that. Also, in most cases with elevators, y'all dumb butts on camera, so congratulations on doing that. So, I went on a date with this rich guy last night and took my six-year-old daughter Kayla with me because... I didn't have a babysitter, and he had the nerve to act shocked that she is there. Out of nowhere, Kayla goes, Hey man, if you want to date mama, then we come as a package deal. So I demand you buy her the finest steak, a bottle of their best wine, and pay for us to get home, or you won't see her again. The table of girls whoop whooped Kayla on, and I swear, he turned to the waiter and ordered three of the finest steaks for his future wifey and stepdaughter. And the tables around us cheered for all three of us. <laughs> <laughs> and they all clapped. It's a great way to top that wonderful big story off. Great job there. I'll tell you this right now, uh, if you go on a date with a rich person and you act like this, I'll tell you this right now, I think they were perfectly fine without you being there, and they are going to be perfectly fine if they never see you again. I can tell you this right now, that, and pretty much just anybody that has respect for themselves, if you act like a dong to them and you're expecting them to pay, Good luck! But, well, you know, great job posting this on Facebook, hoping that people that are like-minded echo chamber individuals of your friends list uh, very much are the type of ones that will totally see this as legit and give you a pat on the back. It's like, oh, you are such a great person. FlatEarth101.com NASA is a hoax. They know you're stupid. Stupid. I is glad to see that the Flat Earth Society is going for the most highest of grade, highest of quality luxury ad placements. You know, on the side of a beat to shit pickup truck. Really nailed it with the quality of it e by uh, having you are instead of, you know, the proper your, even though you very much have the space to have said your. Fousey was arrested last night on stream after he called police lying about being in a hostage situation with a firearm to his head. I'm sorry, dude's been on the internet how? long and he still hasn't realized that that is a horrendous idea? What do you want to bet he's gonna try to, it's just the prank bro his way out of this one too. Like, you know, that's totally how that can work. That's totally the thing you need to do is just you know, go all, it's just the prank bro to the cops and they'll pack up their shit and go. This app lets you talk to dead pets. Ah yes, because we have so many examples of movies where talking to dead beings is such a wonderful great idea. Let's pull out the Waluigi board and just, you know, do the, do the shuffling and everything. Caution, reclaimed wastewater, do not drink. Ugh. Look, look, it, it was one thing when the dogs did it, because dogs, they do dog stuff, they be dogs, they lick their own butt. 
it's another thing when this sign needs to put up because that's not for a dog. Well, this is an unusual one. A human skull is found in a Goodwill donation box in Arizona. Police are investigating the discovery of an ancient skull with several teeth attached and what appeared to be a missing mandible. Police in Arizona were investigating a human skull that was discovered in a box of donations to a Goodwill store. On Tuesday, police in this place responded to a call near this street in this road. On arrival, they discovered what appeared to be an actual human skull, authorities said. Speaking to ABC 15, a police spokesperson, this name, said that the box was dropped off at some point over the weekend and was opened by employees on Tuesday. The skull did not ever make it to the floor. It was in the donation box, again, with other taxidermy items. They said, adding, this is an unusual one. Authorities transported the skull to this medical examiner. Pictures released online showed the skull with several teeth attached and what appeared to be a missing mandible. A fake eye was pictured in the left socket and dark spots covered the skull, a likely sign of age. The medical examiner office confirmed that it is in fact a human skull. You, you know, this, this came with taxidermy stuff, right? I got a real bad feeling in the back of my head about this. Unfortunately, uh, this is a this is really uh, really is a shame as to where exactly people are as when it comes to morals and everything. Cause oh, I just we're trying out a bed. Yeah, you know, if you take a bed out and you don't like it, you can put it away. Cause you know, it's totally not like this is something that you would do at home. I don't even want to hear anybody say, "Oh, we were just trying it out for the puppy and everything." No, very much the store that you're in does not permit non-service or animals in the building. So I can very much guarantee that is not going to be the case. And if it is the case, and you actually do have the animal with you, congratulations. That's a whole nother problem. Seriously, it's not like you're handling 72 beds all at the same time. If you pick one up, put it back exactly where you got it. Why is it that there are people out there that are so stupid, they don't know how to put stuff back that they just picked it up from 10 seconds after they pick it up? Because I see people do this exact same stuff with carts, and I swear to God I want to yell at people. But with that, that is going to have to be it with the video. If you guys would love to be absolutely amazing, show your support, and see more videos like this one in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below to start up the wholesome internet discussions, and if you guys have not already Already, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications. I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and bye bye.